Okay, so for this one, the man turns 40 today and wishes to provide supplemental income of 3000 at the beginning of each month, starting on his 65th. Starting today, he makes monthly contributions of X to a fund for 25 years. Okay, we're talking about contributions here and not payments, so it's going to be a future value concept. Um, for 25 years, uh, also beginning of each month, right? So it's going to be a future value annuity. 25 years monthly, so 300 payments, 8% uh, monthly, it's going to be uh, 0.66, what is 8 divided by 12, so it's going to be 0 0.66, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 7. We always want to be accurate with the, the decimals. We to be safe, we should include the whole thing. Now, it says that on his 65th birthday, each 1,000 of the fund will provide 9.65 of income at the beginning of each month, starting immediately and continue as long as he survives. So, a man turns 40 today and wishes to provide supplemental and retirement income of 3,000. And each 1,000 of the fund will provide 9.65 of income at the beginning of each month. So that means that the income that they're talking about is the retirement income. So um, that would mean that we would have to do uh we would have to take the $3,000 and divide it by um, 9.65. And then we would multiply that by 1,000. Right? Uh, because 9.65 of income at the beginning of each month. So, yeah, so for this one, now we're going to have to uh, solve this to find the accumulation. So 3,000 times 1,000 divided by 9.65, which is 310880.829. Okay, now we're going to solve for x, right? So... We know that this is going to be, uh, this is annually due. So let's convert it to an immediate by multiplying it by the effective. Uh, so this is just the same thing as this, but added one. Now we're going to solve for the future value. So we're going to input one as the payment, 300 as the number, 0.6666666. Seven as the interest rate, zero as the present value, compute payment. Oh no, uh, compute future value. So it's seven plus zero is a uh, present value. Compute value. So the future value here is going to be 951.03. So we're going to do 951.03 times 1.0666666667. So it'll be 951.03. Times one point zero zero six 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 seven, which is going to be nine fifty seven point thirty seven. Now we're going to solve for x. So we're going to do three one zero eight zero point eight two nine divided by one point three. And we're going to end up getting 324.72 as the final answer, which is close to A.